Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, John, how you doing? Good, Art. How are you? And hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. This, of course, is our founder's vlog. Mm -hmm. And Art, be a founder. I be a founder. We be founders here. Yeah, we are. Or are we foundering? I'm not sure what that is. But... <laughs> All right, how are you? you look good. You're in front of the beach again. I feel great. You know, for, for a guy who has to stay out of the sun, I have get a lot of beach behind me. I think it's just to help me remember the, the days when I could. You know, you've got to be happy because you, you're uh, you, with the uh, your skin condition. You've yeah. got to stay out of the sun. Right. And now Labor Day was just a few days ago, earlier this week. Labor Day being the official or actually the unofficial end of summer, you've got to be happy that summer's over. Yeah, but I have to tell you something. Summer's over. Uh, we just uh, finished freaking heat uh, yeah. out here. Tell well, me about Southern it. Southern California is uh, uh, generally the highs or maybe in the 90s or something. Uh, I have a nephew who lives uh, just north of L.A., and uh, everybody, of course, is capturing their cell phone uh, weather thing, and it read 121 121 and uh, from that's incredible people all over la were um uh maybe 108 107 were kind of normal we got a call from my daughter over over the weekend who said uh, who lives in uh, uh mid orange county and uh not too far from the shore maybe six miles seven miles and it read 108 on her wow. cell phone uh, wow so and, uh, yes, but it's a dry heat, <laughs> and it wasn't a dry. Heat. I have to, I have to tell you, uh, uh, one of my daughters went to uh, school eons ago at uh, University of Arizona in Tucson, and when we dropped her off in August there for school, that's what this felt like. Yes, dry heat, yeah. okay, but yeah. we didn't have swamp coolers. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh. uh, over here it was really hot. What about uh, you're a little further south than I am? Uh, how, well, how we, was we hit hundred. Uh -huh. We hit, uh, I don't know if we hit actually hit 100 or uh, we were due to hit 101 one of these last days. And we hit, uh, that I remember hit, hitting 98 with every day for th three days in a row. Well, something we were, like that. well you're, uh, you used to live near me uh, in the Mission Viejo area and it read 108 and 109 uh, on, wow. on various days. So uh, uh, this, uh, we're happy to have this part of uh, it behind us, if it's behind us. Uh, the, this, well, this week, this course, week uh, has uh, been down in the 90s, uh, yeah. a cooling trend, if you will. Well, as I say to my friends back east, September is often the warmest month for Southern California. Right. And I, I don't know why that is, but it's been that way ever since we moved here 30 years ago. So, right. um, But more interestingly is that um, despite the fact that we got 100 degree temperatures, which is not really unusual it's not usual but it it happens every year sooner or later um the mid the upper midwest i'm thinking of denver my my granddaughter goes to school in denver mm. um they, they had 100 degree temperature and then three days four days later it dropped 30 degrees to like 35 degree temperature and they were predicting snowflakes snow i that's incredible so that's really hard to deal with, you know, when you go from the ex the two extremes. That I would think they had uh, a difficult time. Uh, she, in fact, she's due to go back this week, so she missed all of that. <laughs> She'll be going back to normal fall weather in Denver, I think. Hopefully, but you know, yeah. it, it it brings up. Um, it made me think. All this weird weather made me think of uh, the fact that celebrating Act Two is for the second half of your life, and. When you hit 50, you don't think of yourself as old and you don't think of yourself as uh, susceptible to the extremes and weather and things like that. Like, Because uh, uh, I remember at, uh, last week when we had the 100 degree weather, um, we were calling friends who are, you know, shut-ins or infirm or whatever, keeping in touch with them, making mm. sure they're okay. How are you? Do you need anything? Do you have the air conditioning on? You know, just friendly stuff, but it's a check-in in case something went wrong. And um, it made me think that we all need to do that, no matter what your age, uh, whether you're in your 50s or 70s or 80s, we need to check on each other. We need to take care of each other because uh, you know, when you get to extreme temperature like that, 
you never know who's going to be affected by it. So, um, wait, so John, how, how are you doing? See ya. Um, See ya. No, no more, no more splitting fifty-fifty with you. That, that is, yeah, that'd be the end of the podcast. Right. Uh, no, we're doing fine. We we had the air conditioning going most days. Um, although not interesting enough, we we had a couple of days where we could open all the windows and the doors, and we got a nice breeze. It was a warm breeze, but mm -hmm. it it was a it was a nice breeze. But the, thank God for air conditioning. That's all I can say. I uh, remember. Do you you probably remember as a kid in Brooklyn? And brownouts and blackouts. Uh, brownouts, blackouts, and before air conditioning. Mm. Uh, I can remember sitting in, in 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 a bed in New York, lying in a bed, sweating all night long, trying to wonder when the. But that, and, but that was that was dead winter, and you were worried about grades. So, <laughs> but that was something else. But it's the same concept. Uh, yeah. But really, um, we've been very fortunate so far. Uh, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Uh, there were some uh, rolling uh, brownouts uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, in areas near us. Uh, but the people who are really are hurting are uh, uh, Northern California and in the Pacific Northwest, where they have all these fires. And the utility yes. companies, even if they have electric to spread around, are shutting everything down because they're worried about transmission uh, poles uh, overheating and bursting yeah. and causing fire. So, uh, yeah. so far so good, but uh, we fully expect that there'll be uh, a blackouts or rolling brownouts. Uh, although I have to tell you that uh, over uh, Labor Day weekend, um, we were waiting for power to go out. Uh, yeah, we were too. And, we were too. and it, it didn't, didn't happen. happen. Yeah. So maybe the, maybe the power uh, company is getting a little bit that. better. But no, yeah. you're, you're right. So, uh, uh, and I think uh, if we had Dr. Liz on here, she'd say, don't don't forget to hydrate and you, right. you need vitamin D. So take some capsules. Don't go out in the sun. Uh, yeah. And of course, now you, we can't even go out to the movies or the mall uh, uh, to uh, to cool off uh, yeah. without risking ourselves otherwise. I, You know, I can remember as a kid, um, the sign in front, it was the first time I saw yeah. it, it was a hanging banner under the movie marquee and it said something like cool inside and was written in icy letters right. with, uh, <laughs> with drippy and man I, I didn't know what it was talking about until I first went into a movie theater and and it was air conditioned I thought this is magic you know right and then a, a year or two later we actually got an air conditioner for our apartment and of course when you uh, walked out of the theater you'd say a cool theater what are they going to think it, of it, next color television yeah <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the, the message today for all our uh, Celebrating Act 2 uh, fans and viewers and participants is take care of each other. Uh, let's keep in touch with everybody who's a senior that we know, friends, neighbors, relatives, certainly. Mm -hmm. And um, let's just check in with everybody and make sure, let them know you're okay and see if they're okay and if anybody needs something. Because... Um, it can happen, you know, bad things can happen any time of the year, but when you get extreme temperatures, that's usually uh, the height of winter, height of summer. Those are usually times when we need to keep in touch. Yeah, great. Agreed. So uh, anyway, uh, take care of yourself and um, uh, check on you. Like, as John said, check on your neighbors. Check on yep. us. Okay. Although we're going to come yeah. to you at least once a week. If you miss us for a week, okay, don't even bother. <laughs> Don't even bother because uh, we're not going anywhere. Uh, and if and if, if we're not here, okay, it's over. Uh, so anyway, take care of yourself. And uh, John, look forward to seeing you next week. Good. And everybody, thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the meantime. While you're waiting oh, yeah. for us to come back next week, go to YouTube and Celebrating Act 2 and please subscribe. Watch all those videos. They're great videos. And please subscribe. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.